Hi Muglets! Today we're going through the new simulated universe, World 7, all difficulties. We are also halfway on a quest to God Mode Blade. I really want this set for him. I would just jump to difficulty 4 if it was possible, but going to probably make these quick. Let's check out the uh, boss of this realm, which is, oh yes, this deer thing. We're just gonna go in with our typical team. That's always worked out really well, these four, and Elation Path. This should be relatively quick because the enemies are so weak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's grab the random negative curio. Got an Elation 3 star, so I'll take it. Oh god, first elite is the monkey thing. He is hard. He's also in the new Relic Domain, and half the time my uh, Jingyuan ends up dead at the end of the battle. If he's also here at max difficulty, that's going to be a pain. I'm not sure if I've checked this before, but using the die here, would that also replace the negative Kirio? Yep, no more negative Kirio. Nice. This one. As far as I heard, you should hit it hard twice, but now it says 299. I think if you pat it when it says 299. Yeah, okay, so it might depend on what it says there. Hit it hard first and then pat it, I guess. I definitely got a bunch of mixed answers when I asked while streaming a while ago. Maybe it halfway is RNG. We got a ton of three-star cards this time. Look at that. <laughs> and we ended with over a thousand cosmic fragments as well. We had a very nice run, unfortunately on the easiest difficulty where we didn't need a good run. And yeah, for the boss, we have this deer. I guess we're just gonna go in and kill it real quick. It shouldn't be too bad. I doubt we're even going to be able to see much to be honest right now because it's just going to die too fast. But yeah, we're already going on the final phase. It, it did bring up these little plant things, but that was it. <laughs> we did get a Herda, two Herda Bonds, some Trailblaze XP and Stellar Jades for our first clear rewards. So as soon as you do difficulty one, difficulty four is unlocked. I still kind of want to go through them for the first clear rewards anyway, so I'll do that. This is an elite we haven't seen yet. Arumatan Gatekeeper. Ah, uh, the Sanction Rate. And then Punisher activated. It does an alarming amount of damage for this being uh, difficulty two. Like, look at that. Almost half of my uh, character's HP there. Difficulty 2 deer. This run didn't go nearly as well, so... I assume it still won't be a problem, but we'll see how it goes. So he brought up the plants. There's really not much to see here so far. He is, of course, taking a lot longer to kill, and those plants keep doing buffs and healing and stuff, so... And our characters are half dead. At difficulty 2, going into the final phase now. Vines are back, but that was it. So it definitely was a little scarier, but not really close. So we got our first two pieces of blade gear. This is obviously a wind damage orb. Fire damage, close enough. And an HP rope. Attack rope. Let's do difficulty three just to warm up a little bit. The recommended team level here is already 76. I remember difficulty four being so much harder than difficulty three, though, to the point where I said it's not even worth the very rare triple uh, relic drop on difficulty four, but I feel like it's actually going to be decently hard this time. This time we have a different first elite, the Ascended. From reading her details, she's basically just causing a bunch of wind shear and casts this Black Prana Snare, which decreases max HP by a ton. Okay, well, she died in like two turns. Apparently quite squishy. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and grab the Immersion Rewards. Again, it's not much different between three and four. I'm pretty sure it's already guaranteed double drops. And then on difficulty four, there's a small chance for a triple drop, but it's very small. I don't really care about the set right now. I know it could probably be used well on like a healer or something, but yeah, I'm not too interested. We'll check them anyway. Got a death orb there and a death link rope. I really just want an HP one, please. Next elite is Arumatan again. It deals so high single target damage. Going into Punisher mode. I actually don't remember picking up the destruction card, but I guess we did, because even though he's doing a single target attack, we're all taking damage, which makes this boss kind of a joke, honestly. Next immersion reward. Two of the set I don't really care about. HP rope is okay. Physical boost orb. So we made it to difficulty three, a much more average run here. Let's see how the deer fight goes. He's already pulled up some plants before we did anything really. We are doing very solid damage with our follow-up attacks though, so he's already going into phase two. We kind of saved our elation path thing until, um, yeah, so it does a lot of damage to all the plants around as well. Going into final phase, honestly, uh, not too bad so far. Ooh, that did a lot of damage though. Final phase looks pretty dangerous. Ooh. Yeah, little close there, but he has one HP left, so I think we can do it, yeah. Difficulty four, man, that's going to be, that, that is going to be a challenge. Let's grab these, though. Two more of the set I don't care about. Lightning, imaginary, come on. Okay, two of the ones I do care about. Wind damage and HP, please. Wind damage, I, what, with a, oh no, wait, attack percent's bad, but it has crit damage. I mean, I'm happy with that. This is a viable, like, I mean, it could be better. For it being our second or third orb or whatever, I'm happy. And HP percent with not, 
ideal subs, but you know, definitely have to do some more runs here anyway. The rope should be easy. Let's continue on here. We did get these, I guess I'll check them real quick. Yeah, it's whatever. And another physical orb. Oh, we just got our final curio, this negative one. All right, cool. All curios obtained. So here we go, difficulty four, level 90 deer dude. Same team, same path. That's just what's been working out for me. I am starting to like occurrence path more than battle path again. It's just more fun. Okay, here we go with this hit it harder, pat it lightly again. We're just gonna try the same thing. It says 299, so now we're gonna pat it. Okay, so it's just hit pat. I guess, or at least maybe I just got lucky this time. I'm not sure. 400 cosmic fragments is worth way more than one blessing in my opinion though, or maybe two from a battle gate. Oh, the three trotter one on max difficulty is gonna be a pain in the ass, but let's try it. Clara is going to be pretty much completely useless here, which is a shame. Yeah, one escaped. Maybe we can get the other two though, we'll see. We got one, come on, die. Yes, okay. Nothing very good here. Let's reset. Yeah, whatever. Let's get this hunt one. I still only have one elation card. Give me elation cards, please. Finally, there's one. I don't care if it's not good. Going into our first elite without the uh, buff. And it's the monkey. No, that's probably one of the hardest elites, at least in my experience. All right, let's give it a try. He marks Tingyun. Oh, oh attacks. Cl oh, no. Now now Clara's marked. I'm not sure exactly how he works yet. It would actually be good if this guy is a little bit stronger than the relic one, because that means Lacha's passive will kick in. <laughs> we can remove the damage boost with Lacha burst, but he's like giving that to himself like every turn. Oh, any target that uses their skill will, will become the new monitor target. Well, I'm kind of playing on guided auto here. Maybe I'll wait till the damage boost reach three stacks, so then we'll remove it. Okay, there it is. There it is. Let's go ahead and uh, use Lacha burst. We'll also get the uh, abyss field and buff dispelled, very, very cool. Yeah, that wasn't nearly as much of a problem as I thought it would be. First max difficulty immersion reward, HP rope, attack rope, of course, doesn't look that great anyway. And then an orb, lightning. Oh my God, that was a big attack there. Next elite is, okay, we have this silver main. I never really looked too much into him, so we'll uh, check that out. Yeah, so he can summon minions, which is very common, but also increase their attack and cause them to act immediately. Outside of that, he's just doing a lot of single target damage and countering. Overall, pretty standard boss though. His counters are really dangerous. Next immersion reward, come on, HP break effect. And this one's uh, HP as well. It's whatever. I still haven't gotten the stacking elation card. I get that every single time, but this time I, I can't seem to find it. No, that's also annoying. We got the dimension reduction dice, but this is one of the runs where there's no battles between the second elite and the boss. Uh, one good thing is that I can discard it and obtain a blessing of two star rarity, I guess, because it's literally useless. All right, the final heart up before the boss. As you can see, probably one of the worst runs ever. 15 blessings in total. We didn't get this stacking elation card, which is really important. So this is probably not gonna go well, but mostly down to just having not good luck. So if we can actually beat this while having incredibly bad luck, then must not be that bad. I mean, we do have Lacha now, which is very nice and keeps the team mostly healthy, but I don't know, level 90 deer. And we don't have any of the appropriate elements, fire, ice, or quantum, so, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. We're not doing that crazy damage with our follow-up attacks. Jingyuan did, did just hit for a 200k, which is cool, but I feel like without the stacking thing, it's going to just be a lot less impressive. First phase is almost done here. He's at 24%, so it, it, it's not going horrible yet, but it's really second and third phase that's a problem, more so third phase. So what is he actually doing? Single target lightning damage, AOE wind damage, restores HP and gains a stack of Sinwood Renewal. We're gonna have to check later to see what that is. And then he summons these four twigs, which all have their own abilities. Also for each buff the deer has, he'll deal more damage. And then in phase three here, yeah, he does a lot of other stuff. Basically his ultimate here, flamboyant gore, when there are two of those lavish fruits, which are these things. Immediately after that, he'll do his ultimate, which is AOE lightning damage. Also in phase three, his death will be increased. He'll continue summoning the twigs. As for the twigs, this one restores HP. This one deals damage and debuffs. It can inflict outrage, which means one of your units will attack one of your other units with their basic attack. That's pretty messed up. And then we have two of these Arbor things which can counter attack and increases the main boss's attack. Having units with a lot of AOE would definitely help here. We're like half dead already. This is still just phase two, so uh, quite scary. If I do have AOE abilities, I'm gonna save them until he re-plants uh, the uh, 
Okay, he just got 55k HP back, which is relatively a small amount of healing, actually. Yep, here we go. So now we're going to do all of our AoE stuff here. Hopefully just kill them as soon as possible, really. Yep, there. Oh, now we're going into phase three. Basically, as soon as he summons those things. Well, that's Weavering Bleat. Caress of Wind. Oh, Lord. Was that not even his burst? That nearly killed us. That must have been... Oh, it said destroy this stuff to prevent him from doing his ultimate. <laughs> oh god, please someone do something. Hardy Leaf Sheath? Weavering Caress of Wind? No! My Ting Yun! Oh, and then his ultimate. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wow. That was insane. Okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> maybe I need a uh, Gepard or something, shield. Jesus Christ, we got obliterated. That must have been his ultimate, and then he actually did his ultimate. Okay, okay, wow. Not sure though, do I really sacrifice damage for shields? I'm gonna just try the same team. Maybe if we just had a bit better luck with our cards, it, it, it would have worked. I'm pretty sure our Galactic Big Lotto we chose last time didn't give us a, a single Curio before killing us also, so. Triple destruction, why though? 12 cards and no elation so far, that's really strange. Finally, we got a couple. Unfortunately, two of the pretty good ones, but uh, we're gonna grab the stacking one, of course, and just hope we can get eight more. Yeah. Three star elation, pretty cool from this occurrence here. Uh, Sealing Wax of Abundance, that is annoying. Guess it was a three star abundance at least. Ooh, and the stacking one got auto upgraded from this uh, other occurrence, but we're already at the elite again with uh, very low HP because <laughs> we sacrificed 80%. Oh, it's this Blaze dude. I have a little bit of PTSD from uh, Forgotten Hall Stage 10. Yeah, it wasn't so bad though. I think first elite's always easier than second elite. Triple Remembrance? Really? Oh, man. All right, this one's okay, I guess. Sealing Wax of Elation. Yes, I'm gonna grab that. We at least get this now. <laughs> Next Immersion Reward. Ooh, double. Death Rope, unfortunately, and Imaginary. All right. Galactic Big Lotto got destroyed. We did get one, I think, but it was like an abundance thing. Oh, Jesus. We have the Arumatan as second elite. God, no! The, the damage. Calm down, please. Damn, and our Tingyun got imprisoned. Should be healed, yeah. His single target attacks aren't enough to one-shot us, so might be okay, but definitely a very tough boss here. Well, we can get through it. Please give us a decent card. Yes, we got a couple to choose from. We're gonna go Whitest Knight. We're gonna try our luck with the die. I know we have Wax of Elation, but also Abundance and two useless ones, so something good, please. Society ticket's really nice at, like, the end. Gold Coin of Discord's kind of mess since we're only, like, a couple stages away from the end now, but yeah, all right, could have been worse. Next Immersion Reward. Two orbs I don't care about. I Well, but ice damage, I don't use any ice characters. <laughs> and another one. I guess Gepard, but actually he could use that set, I suppose. But there's also that death set I'd probably keep him with. How are we looking at final Herta here? We have a few more three stars, but not many more blessings in total. And yeah, we only got up to seven elation, unfortunately. We just raised the two three stars since the stacking one was already increased. But yeah, we're not much better off, maybe a little bit. Perhaps just playing manually, at least starting on phase two would help. We are doing a lot more damage, but we're not taking any less. So we got to really be prepared to uh, kill those things that pop up. Phase two is almost gone. We are going to just save everything, honestly. Oh man, I'm actually kind of nervous. Everlife. Oh, okay. Oh no, unfortunately, he it ended with Lightning Lord, which is like worst case scenario. Yep, there they go. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, try and kill them as fast as possible here. I don't think we can survive that burst, even if we have like full HP. Yeah, they're like half dead, but uh, not sure that's quite enough. Okay, one's dead, one's dead. Using Lachaw's burst to get one stack of Abyss Field and... Oh God, I would like to kill at least like one more. Crude Fruits? No, no. Oh, I think he's gonna do it next turn if we can't kill these. My hands are literally sweating. They have the fruits on them and his turn is next. What? Are they gonna counter and then Clara would counter and, and, and something please? No. 
They survived. Everyone survived. Okay. As long as you have nearly full HP, apparently. I'm just wondering if we should like still save everything. Like when he pulls them back up again, I'm not sure if we can kill him in time. I think we're just going to go for it. Honestly, just try and kill him before he gets another burst off. Okay. There it was. Dude, that was tough though. That was scary. So yeah, we actually have to use Trailblaze power this time, but whatever. Gonna do it. Ce celebration. Maybe we get some good stuff. I like ER ropes. Not necessarily on this set, but how about this one? HP with crit rate and break effect, I guess. So okay. That one could be okay. And the final immersion reward. Nice. Another double wind. HP orb. The worst subs I've ever seen. And break effect. All right. Well, I mean, we got a couple of pieces today that could be useful. Let's get out of here. What is our clear reward? Oh, two more of those. Wind, attack, HP, attack. All right. But yeah, there was world seven. That deer, um, my God, can actually one shot if you're not very careful. But yeah, I still have about 700 pieces of gear to farm to actually make blade good. So <laughs> I'm going to go do that. Make sure to tell me what you in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.